Shoo! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, guys, a huge shout out to Roman for sponsoring today's video. If you're like me, then you definitely want to make sure you're operating at peak performance in the bedroom. Whether you have trouble rising to the occasion, keeping it going, or have a very demanding significant other, you can count on Roman to help. With Roman, you get free online evaluation and ongoing care for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort and privacy of your own home. There's no need for the awkward doctor visits or unnecessary trip to the pharmacy. When you go to GetRoman.com slash Flair, a U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. And if medication is appropriate, Roman will ship it to you for free with two day shipping. This right here is what it looks like when Roman ships it to you. The entire process is super straightforward, super discreet, and will make sure you are performing at your best. So get Roman ready and go to getroman.com slash farewell. You'll get $15 off your very first month of ED treatment plus free two day shipping. Again, click the link down below if you want $15 off your first month of treatment. The link is down in the description down below. Huge shout out to Roman for sponsoring today's video is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do I do every single day, which is making videos for you guys at home to enjoy. With that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. We made it to the ranch, folks. We are doing some squirrel hunt. We've got two weapons of choice. One, the old 12 gauge shotgun, the old reliable, which, you know, close range and stuff is perfect, but these little squirrels are a little skittish and like to get out and far away from us. We are using the old, I don't even know what this is anymore. This is a STG 44, but it's a 22. Iron sights though. So we are rolling some iron sights. We got the old straps so I can stay strapped up. What I'll probably do is carry the shotgun or like have the shotgun ready. And then I'll have the STG strapped on my back. So they were for walking. It's like, oh, there's a squirrel way over there. Then I can grab the STG. It is iron sights. I might need to do some target practice. Maybe try to hit something just to make sure I'm not like total cheek with it. I mean, I've shot quite a few bullfrogs with it, but squirrels might be a little bit more challenging. wonder if we shot a hedge ball, do you think that it would, we would know we hit it? Like if it's in the tree, you think so? wonder if there's any, um, there's a couple in there. Like that would be like the perfect target. I feel like it's like the size of a squirrel. Yeah, the old 22 iron sight. I gotta feel, I gotta, I gotta practice a little bit. The old hedge ball. So if you see those little yellow, pink, not pink. Wow, English is tough. Uh, yellow, I looked at the Ford Ranger, which is pink. Yellow and green hedge balls. Um, they're up in the trees. Most of them have fallen down. There's a couple, so I could try, I could try shooting those just to see if I hit them or, or whatever. If they fall off the tree, that'd be like pretty good target practice. But like I said, I, I had the 22 with the scope, but I figured that would be, that'd be too easy. Can't make it too easy. So like I said, we're at the ranch. Jake's with me. We're going to go walk in the woods a little bit. Now that the leaves have fallen, I feel like now we should be having better luck with the squirrels. Um, I'm hoping that we can, we can find some squirrels with the old shoddy, with the old 22 and uh, see what happens. I mean, the, the, the whole idea is over. Oh yeah. And rabbits, I guess too. Rabbits too. Um, we might have to break out the old crow cock. And I have to shoot those or something like that. I don't, basically, it's not a deer hunt, but if it's pretty much anything else, if it flies, it dies, it browns down. If it hops, it drops. I think that's pretty much it. So we're going to jump in the mule and we're going to get loaded up, head out in the woods and just get to walking and see what we can get to cook up for lunch. You guys stay tuned. All right, STG, baby. Here we go. I think that's how this thing works. Whoa, it was already on fire. Sick. All right. Edge ball. Here we go. Hey. Okay. I got one more. Oh. That just blew up in the gun. Yeah, I can't hear. I don't, I don't think the bullet came out. Why'd that do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Sir, what just happened? That one in there, huh? <laughs> no, it fell out. You ever, how'd that happen? I don't know. That just it went. It sounded like it didn't like exit the barrel. Like no, it, it didn't. It just exploded in the action. Try another one. Um, Dude, thank God it's 22. Maybe hold the action open now that it, there's no bullet in it and see if you can uh, see if it's clear through the barrel. Oh, it's not. There's something in there. Yeah. Barrel well, I'm glad I didn't shoot another one. Is it a bullet? So do you think that one got stuck? That one got stuck. The next and then the other one hit the back the of action. it? Oh, God. Dude, if that was like a 50 cal, we'd be <laughs> yeah. dead right now. Rip. At least it was a 22. We'd be at Kentucky Ballistics. Gosh, dang. Yeah, that's or whistling diesel. Or diesel. Shot himself in the face on accident. Is it like melted in there? You see that? Yeah, it, dude, I, like, I, <laughs> that's literally what happened. It shot the back of the bullet. Yeah. <laughs> like, if it this was a big caliber, we would be dead right oh, now. Yeah. I would be dead. Oh, you'd be chilling, but I'd be dead. Oh, you're also shooting a right-handed gun, left-handed too. It would have yeah. blown up right in your face. Oh, 
Well, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, all of a sudden, I was like, dang, was that like a mag? I was like, that was super loud. Like, my ears ringing. Like, is that like a 22 thing? mag or something? That blew up. Yeah, right might here. be shotgun hunting. <laughs> Rat! Might be shotgun. <laughs> what the hell, STG? I'm not sure we're getting this out. Oh. Get her? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it literally shot the back of the bullet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got to keep that. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. It shot the back of it. All right, we'll keep that one for keep. All right, well, let's see if that happens Don't again. try that at home. Yeah, don't do that. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it, yeah. but it's just, you know, using, like, crappy rounds and I think, did I buy this at the auction, I'm pretty sure, or something? Probably. I don't know where I bought this. Pawn shop, I think. Yeah. You know what? I'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> Spray and pray. Get in the moment. Spray and pray, <laughs> get in the moment, and hopefully this thing don't blow up in my face. Be good to go. See you guys in the woods. All right, folks. Well, we made it. We are. This is the thick of it. This is the area on the ranch. I've talked about since day one. Since the day I saw this place, I said this is where the big deer are gonna. The hell was that? Sound like a grunt. Is that just a tree branch? Uh, I said this would be the hangout for a big deer, and it was. Big Freak hangs out in this area. But today, we're not hunting him. We are hunting squirrels. I know, we should be hunting him, but we're hunting squirrels. So, that's pretty much the plan right now. We're going to go walk through these woods. We're going to go, I'd probably start this way, and we'll kind of just start. I don't know, you big squirrel guy? I've hunted squirrels, not much, but... I'm like, I feel like squirrels is one of those things that if you just have the juicy spot, it's like a no-brainer, and there's not much strategy. Yeah, you just walk around. You just walk, feel. and you just figure it out. Because, like, some guy, I'm like, how do you squirrel hunt? Because I feel like I'm really bad at it like i feel like i should have all of all my properties I, they, I should have good squirrel populations they like eating those hedge balls which is you know there's a bunch of them around here but i like every time i come squirrel hunt i just absolutely suck so uh we're gonna try this corner here first since this is kind of like the thick woods bottom area and we'll just kind of work our way up that funnel here and i'm sure there's other areas that have squirrels but i think this is like the most heavily wooded and there's like a little creek that runs through it too so i mean like i don't know water squirrels need water too i guess i don't really know so we're gonna walk around like so we got the old stg that almost killed me and then that guy right there we're gonna just like I said, I'm going to have the STG on my back in case we see something far. But I think the idea is going to be rock the old shotgun. Just so, you know, it didn't blow up in my face. Yeah. We were talking about the bullet and we realized if the bullet hit the back of the other bullet, where'd the bullet go? It had to come and it out had to come action. out the side when it ejected. Been which means, right which means I'm literally aiming here. And if you were filming me on this side, it would have hit me or hit that. Lucky it didn't hit we almost got lucky face. because yeah, it's a right-handed gun. I'm left-handed. So it went across my face, but you're lucky you're staying on the left side. Yeah. So noted, whichever way the gun ejects, stand on the other side in case you have a pawn shop STG like me and don't want to die. So, all right. Well, that being said, we'll get to walking. Oh, before we do, what's your favorite squirrel recipe? You got one? Because I feel like I've always cooked squirrels and it tastes like absolute ass. Really? Yeah. What do you? Oh, they're pretty tough. Yeah. Kind of cook them yeah are we Instapot? Like, I have to pull out the Instapot. I think. I feel like that's the, that's the old go-to. I'm not. I wasn't sure if you had like a go-to. I got a little oven recipe. Really? A it's, and it's fire. It's pretty good. Might have to try. It. Comment down below what your favorite squirrel recipe is because I feel like I've cooked. Like I've tried frying a whole squirrel and I've never. I mean, I'd rather eat possum than that so you guys have to let me know what your guys' favorite recipe is but uh jake said he's got oven instapot i feel like i'm getting decent with the instapot so where i can start making some stuff taste pretty darn good but anyways with that being said let's get to walking we're double strapped baby i'm ready to kill the squirrel damn it this is that creek i was talking about so it, many critters like this thing. It doesn't look like much of a creek, but it's flowing. It, oh, it's always flowing, though, yeah. which is weird. Yeah, it must come from like my neighbor's pond or something because yeah. it's always got water. Yeah, there's no like ditch or anything. It's just kind of like. I get so many pictures of raccoons and and like the deer like drinking it or squirrels like drinking it. Like I get truck camera pictures all the time of critters meandering up around this. So well, we've seen, we got one nest up there, but I don't think we're quite, I think we need to get to. Down in that bottom. That, yeah, there's like a, another bottom ravine mm -hmm. and then there's a hill there. And I think just kind of walk that ravine. So we kind of look up the hillside where I think a lot of those head trees are. Look at that old scrape. Oh yeah. Looking off the branch. That's probably the freak. Probably. Yep, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> that is kind of windy. Dang it. I was hoping it's going to be nice and calm today. Sometimes I feel like the wind's not distraught with squirrel hunting. It's kind of tucked up in their little mess. Yeah, they don't like moving. It's like a tree from hell. Look at yeah, it. it is. What is the deal? Like, giant spikes. Why? Who hurt this tree? Somebody hurt this tree's feelings. Look at it. I mean, <laughs> like, that is literally a tree from hell. Why? Did one of these squirrels climb it up him? 
this is just nuts. I mean, yeah, there is a real fat squirrel nest. Do you think that's, oh, you think that's defense? Probably. Like, you think bobcats wouldn't want to climb it or yeah, something? I wonder, wonder if big chungus was up there. King, king squirrel, this is king squirrel's tree. I just, I, I've i never seen, cause you know what, they're not, are these hedge trees, the ones that got the, there's a few different oh, species. I, have no idea. I don't think I've seen one that's like. No, I haven't seen one this big. Older than this planet. And yeah, just but they are growing yeah. out of it. Like, I mean, it's, yeah, like literally. That's crazy. Phew, you don't want that sucker falling you. Holy crap, that was crazy. Like, we, I was like, oh, let's wait for 10 minutes. And you're just like, he's right there. And I was like, oh, what are you talking about? Where is he at? He's like jumping towards us. And I was just about to pull the trigger once I got the cameras going and everything. Boom, Houdini. Yeah. He's gone. Well, he just disappeared. Like, we, Jake and I, like, flanked him and, like, we're like, you go down there over here. And, like, I was watching up in the trees, too. He didn't jump in a branch and just take off running. Oh, we would have seen, we would have oh, seen. Oh, yeah. Him. He would have been KO'd. What the hell? Did you just start kicking the tree and see if he comes <laughs> Is this like a pheasant? You just like flush him up? Where's Lucy when you need her? Yeah, no kidding. Send, her Send Lucy up the tree. Okay, all right. Well, we know there's a squirrel here, so I feel dumb if we leave. We just gotta yeah. figure out how to get him. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I feel dumb being like, all right, let's go look for another one. He's here. Yeah, he's in I this tree somewhere. He's in the tree. <laughs> but where? And I wonder how long it'll take for him to come out. I mean, what I would probably say is if you go over there, mm -hmm. I can see it way better over here because yeah. of the sun. Over there, I was, I was just absolutely, Blinded. yeah, couldn't see nothing. Probably just camp out back here. Okay. You camp out on the other side. We'll just hang out. I see him. Yeah. I'll let you know. If you see him, you just let me know and try to rush him and try to get him to come uh -huh. out of the tree. Try to get him to start running. All right. So well, get him shot. Now, now it's a waiting game. It's a cat and mouse. Stay tuned. Squirrel one. Beefcake squirrel hunters zero. We're convinced he's in the tree. He ain't come out. Been about 15 minutes. I hadn't seen any of his friends or his buddies. We have to keep moving. We ain't got all day. We got to find, we got to get a squirrel before lunchtime. That's the goal. We got something to cook up for lunch, so. We know there's one here. On our way back, we'll make sure we find this tree. But for now, let's get walking. He's on the back side of this log going up to that nest. Going up to this nest. He's on the back side. This one right here? Yeah. This tree right here? Yeah. Not there anymore? He's in the he's in the nest. Is he? Yeah. I can't see him. I see his tail. Yeah, he was running up that log. I see his tail right now. Yeah, <laughs> I heard it. Yeah, you're right. He's running now. Did he head up the tree? He's up, he's up. You stay right there. I'll okay. Go this he's, uh, oh, he's right here. Smoke him? You see him? No. He ran to your side. He's way up there. I hit, I swear I hit him. Where'd he go? I see his tail. I see his tail. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, here he is. Up here, to your right. Right here, right here. Run it, run it. Oh, shit. Bro! Oh, there he is. Got him! Got him! Got him! Woo! What kind of shooting was that? Yeah, that's a tough squirrel. 
Sheesh, I, he's hanging. I only got one more bullet left. Really? He's hanging. He'll fall. He's dying. Come to Papa. Shoo! Bro! What the heck? I missed so many times. <laughs> he was four? fast. Five. That's five shots. I think it took five shots. Jeez. I've got I've got one in the chamber and then I've got some duck loads. Three and, three and a half. And a half. <laughs> got Dude, him though. He was flying and I was like, I thought I was on him. I'm using a tight choke, which probably doesn't help. Shooting through branches too. They're shooting through branches. We got him though. Him. Dude, he is like just sitting there forever. Like Jake and I were sitting there just what waiting, waiting. Also, I was like, he just wait, he's off. up there. He went all the way up. I swear I hit him on the first one. I could only see like a quarter of his body, like yeah. around the branch. Yeah. And he just went up. Dude, they can hide yeah. way better than you think. Dude, yeah, he just took off. You said, oh, there he goes, and I didn't even see him. Oh yeah. Oh, big old male. Big old nuts. Big old nuts. That is a big That's a beast. Chung big headshot, dude. That's a big chungus squirrel. Right there. She finally. At least we're eating. Well, I mean, I got Definitely four goes. shots left. I got the 22 too. True. No way I would have got him with the 22 the though, bro. There's no, no way. way, bro. That's why I brought the old shoddy. No shot, but I'll take him. That's a big chunk of squirrel. I think I was just behind him because I got a couple bullets hitting his, his feet. Yeah. Hitting his feet. I think I was just like, you know, I shoot ducks all day long, that was no a problem. Far but shot too, he was he was far. He was hauling it, and it's like he never stopped. <laughs> he just and so I was off. just like taking passing shots. Yeah, the most he ever stopped was like right here. He right here. Him. Yeah. I know I kept shooting. I was like, oh god, I better I, I saw I had one more bullet. I was like, I yeah. better I better pay attention to this last one. Sheesh, dude, he's huge, bro. Big old chungus squirrel. Well, that's what we were after. It was little cat and mouse games. We played with two different ones. The other one was up in that tree right there, actually. Yeah. So well, I said, well, when we come back this way, we'll check that out. But I mean, we're doing good so far, better than I thought. Yeah. Um, it's just random. Like yeah. we're you're we're walking right there he is, and he's just like running. Yeah. It's just like totally random. We have no idea where they're at. And then they're really good at hiding, super good at hiding. So if you don't get them in the first like first tree that has a has a uh, a nest for them, I mean, because this guy hid in his nest for a little while, and we just sat there, and also I looked up, and he was just scaling it, like he was just trying to get out of there. I'm sure he could hear us talking, so he probably like you know waited till he thought hauled. he was somewhat safe, and then hauled. He hauled. But there we go, baby. We got lunch. Let's see if we can find another one. Is that what that is? Uh, yeah, I think so. Can you eat that? Uh, you can at one point <laughs> here, but I've never <laughs> done it. Let's not die. So. <laughs> you don't want to go on a trip? Hey, Chris, he's a mushroom guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's mushroom man. Mushroom man. All right. Ooh, two big ones right in front. Well, we, we made a loop. We walked the creek bed. This spot, we found, I mean, we've seen this spot before. It's like an old watering tank. I don't know what they used to have here. Probably do their elk hunting or something. But I think we were just talking next year. We gotta make this little food plot. It's good, plenty of sunshine as you can tell. And it's like, we're in the middle. I mean, we are in the thickest of the thickest piece of my property, you know, where the freak's been daylighting and stuff, it's all in the thick stuff. And this is kind of like a walkway. Plus, if you go that way, I don't know how many yards, 500 yards, pretty far, is the square food plot, not the horseshoe one. The west one? The west one. Yeah, yeah. That, so that leads right to it. So like, they could like hit this one, way. and then they would basically hit the next one. Like I said, it's a ways out, but it's a it'd be a good tree for a stand. Too. Yeah, oh yeah, there's some, there's some pretty decent trees. You could just throw a little stand up and put a little micro plot in there, and we might be in business. But anyways, we walked on the other side, saw a bunch of nests, well, not as many nests, but saw some nests. Didn't see a single squirrel, so now we're walking on the east side here, which we already see two hager nests up there. Oh, and another one. Okay, I think we're back in the territory. Let's see if we can get another squirrel. Okay, we got a problem here, boys. Just stumbled upon a trail camera. I didn't know it was out here. Chris put it out here. It is yours, though. It's, it's mine. No, this is 100% this is mine. But look at that. that. Does that not look like a... Not, like, what could make that do that? It's a $300 trail camera. Right. I'm it's trying like to think. Buck beat it up. You think it could slice it like that, though? Like, I'm... Uh, yeah, that does look like somebody stuck it with, like, a knife or something. Like... Like what could, Yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's not soft. Let me pull up my phone. Now that I know, I think I know which one it is. What's crazy is I, they weren't sending to me. Like I would have gotten photos of the sky and yeah. I wasn't. Oh, dude. What is it? Dude, hang on. Check this out. We got a deer. Is it? He's on it. It's okay, so. A deer messed it up. So here's what we're thinking here. That little sh head. Hmm, stuck an antler right through it, huh? What a little let me request a video. We can watch it. See if he just came up here. And what just... the hell, dude? dude? What what was his problem with this? He just probably had like Chris's scent on or something. Came to check his little scrape and he's was just all like, "What the hell?" Up. 
Well, my service is not sufficient to get these videos to come through, so we'll have to check it out. Maybe we get back to the cabin if I get them. I may or may not. I don't know. Either way, I think it still works. I mean, I was getting photos right before we got up here. That's crazy, though, that an mm -hmm. antler. Like, you saw what my knife did. Like, I would have really had to, like, dig it. But I just requested the videos of him beating it up. So maybe we'll find find those here in a bit. But right now, we're surrounded we're by, surrounded squirrel, by squirrel nests. Like, surrounded. So I was like, oh, well, let's... Like there's no one over there. Like pop a squat, be quiet for a second. It seems like that's what happens. We sit for like 10 minutes and, and then we get up we and get then up. like, yeah. it's like they got out of the nest and then we bump them or something yeah. like that. I don't know. I'm trying to like put a mm -hmm. pattern together so we can re repeat it. But right now I just think it's pretty random. So well, let's get back to walking. We came back to where our first friend was. He's either in the tree or he took off and we left. But I don't see him, so. We pretty much walked this whole valley. We got one, he's hanging out. We're gonna jump in the mule, I think we're gonna head back. Around the cabin, like around the pond in the cabin, has got a lot of nests. It's just, I'm blaming on the conditions, but we got one, but it's freaking windy. To where the tops of the trees are going, or if I'm a squirrel, I probably ain't running around, I ain't trying to die. Maybe I'm wrong. C comment down below, I need squirrel hunting tips. Recipes, tips, big squirrel guy. So, well, let's head back to the mule and go by the cabin and get back to hunt, stay tuned. Look at this. That's pretty fresh. Yeah. It hadn't even, it's like, yeah, still like it's still sticky. Yeah, there's still some remnants of meat on there. All the teeth are still in it. You think that looks like a fawn? Probably. Kind of hard. Kind of hard to tell. Yes. That looks like a little fawn. It looks like a deer head to me. Doesn't have any canine teeth. <sighs> yeah, gotta get them coyotes out of here. That's the next thing after squirrel hunting and deer hunting. Just trap it. We gotta get them coyotes out of here. I mean, he could have died from whatever, but still. I mean, you don't get your ribs nibbled down to nothing. Mm -hmm. Not from coyotes. So, well, we just we're like 50 yards from the mill here. So, see you guys back at the cabin. All right, well, we walked the woods, didn't see nothing. I think it's the wind. Are you chalking it up as the wind? Yeah, wind. It's blown. I mean, it don't seem like a probably got, it's, it's blown. It's definitely gotten It's worse. getting worse yeah. since we got here. Like in the, that makes sense. We saw a couple, like, right away. I was gonna say, plus where we went was down in a ravine. It's, Everywhere else in my property is like, I mean, this ravine maybe, but like everything else is like pretty up and like high. So I, I we got one and that's all that matters. And we are hungry. We are ready to cook this sucker up. So. Boom, we got a knife. Jake was saying that you're like, like the squirrel skin and oh, king no. here. So uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, you're not gonna see any of this, but if you're watching this on Uncut, link down below, we'll show you how to skin it, how to clean it, how to gut it, how to get it all prepared and whatnot. All the behind the scenes stuff is what you guys get on there. But for now, we're gonna, dang, look at them chomps. Looks like beaver. Sheesh. Buddy's been eating hella hedge balls. He's a <laughs> chunky boy too. He That's is. what's like, That's a heavy squirrel. that is a heavy squirrel. So anyways, let's get to skinning. Yep. That you don't want to go all the way. Okay. Because if you go all the way, then you got nothing to hold on to to get the back. Oh, skin. okay. Shee! Adios, amigo. Those little glands right there. That's what your uh, bad stuff comes from. You got to get that sucker out of there. I, I learned that the hard way. Shee! All right, here we go. We're cooking up some squirrel for lunch. We got them all cleaned up and deboned. If you guys watched this on Uncut, you saw how we did it. Actually, that was you. Yeah. you. And you did good. It looks really nice. So we got them all cleaned up. Luz, why are you always... Hi, how's it going? Can you get down? Why are you always here? Maybe you'll have to give you some. So what we're going to do is we kind of talked about some different recipes. One that I tried to do... I'm trying to think. What did I try to do this with? I've been cooking so much stuff, I can't even really remember. Oh, it was the uh, hind quarter of a deer. It was a the deer. The, no, it was the, the rump roast. We oh, did a rump yeah. roast video. Video, and I wanted mashed potatoes and all the vegetables and we didn't have any but now we got mashed potatoes and we don't have all of them. we don't have carrots or salad but we've got onions and potatoes and so I think that's what we're gonna be rocking and rolling with is some potatoes and then uh, so what we're gonna do is cook the squirrel first in the instant pot for 10-15 minutes take it out as it's cooling we're gonna add all the vegetables to that broth as well as a bunch of other seasonings um, well I guess we'll add the seasonings to the squirrel and then you, you'll see that and then once the veggies are done then we basically will debone the squirrel once it's cooled off and kind of mix it all together and then we're gonna take Take the broth and make like a you call it a roux yeah a roux gravy. or a gravy gravy roux something like that and then basically put a you know heat up the heat up the taters make a bed of taters throw the pot roast squirrel pot roast on top and then drizzle some gravy and it's gonna be delicious so first thing we're gonna do is grab that squirrel take him he's all cleaned up washed off and we're just gonna toss him in just like that and then we've got beef broth you could probably do chicken broth but since we're doing pot roast which is usually made with beef chuck roast is that what that's from is that yeah, what a pot roast yeah, is made from roast. usually Ooh, that smells pretty darn good so go ahead and throw this guy in there and i don't know like sometimes i cover it all the way do you think it's important to cover it all the way not really i mean it's just cooking in steam basically i feel like that's probably you know what 
We are gonna put vegetables in there. They'll suck it up. That's also true. That's also true. So go ahead and throw that guy in there. Whole thing of beef broth. I've heard beef. Uh, so there's beef broth, and then there's what's the other thing? So there's broth, and somebody like some like culinary guy was like, "You're messing up beef." Uh, it wasn't broth. It was something else. And I don't. Know, I'm like drawing a blank now. But it's like the same idea, but I guess it's more concentrated, and this is more like watery. I don't. Oh, stock and broth is what it was. So there's oh. so there's beef stock and beef broth. Yeah, stock I, doesn't have the fat and the collagen. Is that what it is? Stock by like boiling down like. So is beef? I think beef. Maybe broth is what you're supposed to use for a better flavor. Or do you think stock is better? Probably for flavor? stock because you get all the fat. Ah, uh, okay. So uh, anyways, so got a little bit of parsley. Again, I'm not even gonna worry about measuring nothing or whatever. Just season it to taste. Got to throw a little bit of some something in there. Make it seem a little bit more special than it already is. Uh, that's how you do that. So we'll go ahead and throw some parsley flakes. We've got some oregano, we've got garlic, we've got some onion, and then of course, ducks on meat, which is really all you need. But, whoo, there you go. Get, get a little bit of some of that going in there. All right, parsley, check. Oregano, throw a little bit of oregano in there. Perfect, that was a lot of oregano, I feel like. Garlic, throw some garlic in there. And some onion, onion powder. A little bit of onion powder. Yep. And then we've got some all meat, which this is the filet mignon of all of them. So don't be shy. Go ahead and season that bad boy up. All right, we're going to go ahead and mix that guy. Wow, I just splashed that everywhere. That's sick. See, this is why I cook in the garage and not in the kitchen, because my wife would kill me if I just did that. Okay, let's go ahead and slosh that around. Instant Pot, I'm telling you guys, if you guys like to cook like me, these things will change your freaking life. 10 minutes. Meat stew mode, it's on 20 minutes now. I don't think we can overcook it. No, not really. All right, 15 minutes, boom. All right, while that's cooking, let's get the onion and the potatoes and the mashed potatoes ready and chopped up and ready to go, stay tuned. Shoo, here goes an onion. Are you an onion guy? How do you, do you know how to cut these suckers without your eyes bleeding or whatever? Well, I've heard that like if you leave the root the end, intact, yeah. it doesn't like hurt is bad really like, i don't know I think it hurts every time i feel like i just yeah i'm basically rko'd all right that's just gonna have to stay on there for right now so so like you think just cut her in half i don't i do it like the other way this yeah i split it just cut it just like this mm -hmm. okay now now what's the strat here peel it get this right. stuff off here mm -hmm. i always do it where you cut like from in here okay cut it in like a half like this yeah, like don't go all the way through it like stop at the root. Stop at the root here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is definitely how people cut themselves. Yeah, don't, but try that at home. don't do that. Just give her one of these. Oh, there goes the eyes. Yep, perfect. <laughs> okay, so now what's your strat? Then flip it back down like that. And then you yeah. cut it? Yeah, and give her a little dice. Or you could do the lines like that first. So yeah. yeah. Don't go all the way through. Yeah. Oh, I see. And then you just go one time. Oh. Should have, should have dice chunks. I see what we're doing here. This is all making sense now. Oh yeah, the eyes are still getting it. They're still getting. Yep. I'm starting <laughs> to lose my vision here. Wow. Getting it. Ooh, ooh, yes. Goodness. Mmm. That's nice. That's good. I don't like seeing. <laughs> wow, I mean, this might be the worst one I've had. That is crazy. All right. I think your, I mean, your method's working, though. I mean, it looks... Getting diced up. It's looking good. The other thing that makes life easier... One of these guys. Let's try that. We'll try that for the second round and see how that too. goes. Woo! Wow, that is, that is some potent, potent onion going on there. Okay. I'd say that's looking about Very right. Nice I mean, that wasn't too bad. No. So this guy, let's go ahead and peel this guy. We'll do fact or cap. Which one's faster, the old chopper or my knife skills? I can almost promise you which one's going to be faster. Chop. Like that. Okay. Yep, that's kind of what I said. Nice. Cap. Cap. This is lies. Straight lies. Gordon Ramsay does, I'm pretty sure. Well, I wouldn't say that worked all that great. Now it should work. Yeah, okay. There you go. You just got, I think we just started too big. Yeah, we I probably should have cut it. We went, we went a little large on it. Okay. Woo, God. 
bless anyone that makes onion rings for a living. This is crazy. <laughs> Woo! Eey. Onions. Chopped. I think. Ish. Dude, I literally can't see right now. This is crazy. I mean, literally, like, oh, I'm just getting it. <laughs> the waterworks are starting. All right, onions have been, okay, I gotta get this thing away from me. This is a bad, this is a bad deal. This goes over here. I heard if you chew gum, does that help? I heard you that you're like not supposed to like try to blink and open your mouth and stuff. I've heard like- Open my mouth? mouth? How am I supposed to breathe? Just through my nose? Yeah. It's like already getting clogged up though. I don't know. All right, we're gonna do this. We'll slice the taters. These won't make my eyes bleed, I don't think. Taters be chopped. So you think and have them? Yeah, maybe just have them. So they're already pretty small. They are pretty small. So yeah, we are doing double tater, by the way, you haters out there. I can't believe you're eating mashed potatoes and these. Well, mashed potatoes are fire, okay? Don't be hating on the potatoes. And we, like I said, we don't really have any vegetables. Like, I just didn't want to go to the grocery store. Like, this is all stuff I found around my house. Um, I didn't want to have to go to the grocery store just because it takes so dang long. I know we're, you know, we're, we've been slacking, cutting corners and stuff, but we're still making a pretty decent meal. It's not like we're just like throwing it in the, you know, the pan frying and being like, mm, that tastes fire, because you know it doesn't. So we're actually, we are actually trying. I will mention that this thing... Uh, it doesn't sound like she's running. I was just thinking about that. Oh, it's going. Is it? Yeah, but I had it on venting mode, so it wasn't mm, building up building steam. Up any pressure. So we got some time, but that's okay. So go ahead and take these guys off. We, we rinsed them off, cut them taters, and we got the onions. And that's all this. Onions and taters and seasoning and squirrel and more mashed potatoes. And we should be good to go. So go ahead and get these all... Sliced up, diced up once the squirrel's cooked. So we're gonna go for that 15 minute cook time. Take it out, let it cool off, we'll debone it. Throw in the potatoes and the onion, which is not gonna take long, like five, 10 minutes to cook. Mix it all together, make the roux, make the potatoes, and we'll be good to go, so stay tuned. Wait, are you gonna try some? No. Why? I'm not eating squirrel. If you like pot roast, it's the same thing. I don't like squirrel. You've never had it. I don't need to. Woo. It's something it really smells like seasoning. It smells like oregano. I know, but it's like really strong. How much seasoning did you put in there? A lot. Uh, oh, the oregano great. was pretty healthy. Ore again. Oregano went off. Yeah, it went off on the oregano. Why? I didn't mean to. It was an accident. It's not that bad. No, no. I mean, I didn't go crazy. It's there's a lot of stock in there too. It it, it dilutes it. Yeah. Or something. Chicken stock. Beef broth. What's the difference between stock and broth? I don't remember. You explained it. See, last somebody. Week. I'm telling you, somebody told me. I think I was messing up. And I don't know which one I'm supposed to use. One of them's better than the other. You guys have to let me know what you think. All right. Oh, they will. No, it's not letting me yet. Hang on. Oh, there it goes. You ready? Sheesh. Wow, he got seasoned up really good. Look at that guy. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> bon is... appetit. <laughs> you're telling me you're not gonna eat that? <laughs> I think it looks fire. What are you talking about? He got seasoned. I gotta like wash some of the seasoning off. He's like coated. Nah. You're We're gonna, gonna pull it. In. We're gonna like shred it up. Oh, try to chunk it anyway. That's... I don't know what you're eating off that. <laughs> the whole thing. Bad ass. No. <laughs> you don't like this? <laughs> what is so funny? All right, so go ahead and throw your taters in. Shoot it out. Look out. Oh, we got, oh, by the way, we stepped it up. We found some green beans. My green beans. Yeah, hopefully you didn't want, I want these. You. Hopefully you didn't want these. I don't really like green beans, but it'll add a little flavor. Who doesn't like green beans? I mean, I do. They're just like not. <laughs> honestly, I like canned green beans over that. Any like, oh, you really? like really just, soft green beans, and like I like these are like covered in butter and stuff. And soft. In it's college, just, let's hear it. In college, Emma and I would just microwave those for like thirty seconds and just like. <laughs> what are you a <laughs> rabbit? Why would you do that? It's just like raw green beans. <laughs> a lot of onions. Hopefully you like onions. If he's not super tender, we could always throw them back now, but I don't want to overcook it. It looks moist. Oh my god. Uh, it tastes like dark meat chicken. Yeah. You would not. All it, tastes like. it literally tastes like dark meat chicken. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't like dark meat chicken, so. Oh, I do. Here's, well, here's an idea. You want to hear my idea? Yeah. What if we debone it? Mm -hmm. How long do you think that's going to take to cook those veggies? Like maybe five, five minutes? ten minutes? Yeah. Why don't we debone it and throw it, the meat in there with it? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's just do that. Because then we can still get the flavor of yeah, the yeah, veggies. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to make sure this guy was cooked all the way. You know, because the veggies are going to cook faster than this guy will. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to take this 
I mean, there's not going to be a lot of meat compared to the amount of vegetables we got in there, but it's okay. Took the back strap. Got the old back strap off. That's going to be your best piece right there. How are you feeling about it? I literally could go throw up right now. Why? That is so gross. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's just like deboning a chicken. How all is this? I all can't they eat is a chicken like, either. All they, they eat, eat is hedge, like hedge balls yeah. and walnuts. They just taste like it that is just not an animal you were made to eat. So I like, beg to differ. Oh my god, the noises. This is literally no different than chicken. You are being dramatic right now. It's like taking a park Thanksgiving it's turkey. It's ASMR no different. in there, but make people. I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what you're talking about. This is by far the best looking and tasting score I've had ever. Best like, looking? Yeah. Do you most, see that thing? I've tried frying it whole like that, and it tastes like. It honestly yeah. looks just like a turkey does when it comes out yeah. like a roaster. That's what I'm saying. And when you do it like this, you know what the, you get uh, all the meat off of it. I mean, that looks fine. <laughs> let's hear it. What do you have to say? The squirrel looks like it's... <laughs> now let's hear it. What, what do you got? Let's hear it. Come on, what do you got? Just... It must be pretty funny. This is pretty, yeah. It must you, be pretty funny. You know, you're supposed to tell a joke before you laugh. <laughs> no, but I, I can't figure out how to explain what I'm trying to Use your to words. Say. You got it. Spell it out. Spell it out. <laughs> like... The squirrel looks like it's dancing to the song, the Hands of Money. <laughs> what? What is she talking about? This is some TikTok stuff. Is it Meg the Stallion? Oh, I... Hands of Money, she can ask him without shit. <laughs> That's what the squirrel What looks is like. going on right now? Look at the squirrel. Do I need to look up a it video? It looks like it's twerking or something. <laughs> what? You are, I don't know what you're talking about. Look up a video. I want to see what is. What no, you're... not a dance, but like. Looks like it could be dancing to that. You're song. telling me the squirrel is making up a dance as it's deceased on my cutting board. Right <laughs> to Megan the Stallion. <laughs> to Megan the Stallion shaking that ass. I'm a thought shit or something like that. Dude, there is a lot of meat. He was a chunky boy. Yeah, dude. it was Look a thick old squirrel. Like, there's a lot. I'm going ahead and cut this up just so it's ready to you know eat. Yeah. So we don't have too big of pieces. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this deboned up and we're gonna throw it back in for probably six seven minutes and then get the taters heated up and then we'll make the what's the difference between roux and gravy or is it don't you make thing? a gravy with a roux yeah yeah a roux is just a fat and flour mm -hmm. so like butter and flour oh yeah you did say butter it's like the base so if i add sauces. flour to this am i making roux or am i making gravy uh it would probably be a gravy all right well yeah. we'll make gravy stay stay tuned shoo all righty look at that Dude, that smells good. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. Onions, translucent. Oh yeah, They're, everything cooked. Take out that tater and check it out. Get a little smash. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, they're, they're done. Perfect. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take some of this broth. I guess it don't matter if there's a little onion in there. <laughs> Throw a little bit of the broth in. We're gonna make our own little gravy. There's some of this in there. Oh, this smells so smell good, fun. dude. It smells like pot roast. It smells just like pot roast, yeah. Like squirrel, I'm convinced this is gonna be the best squirrel dish we've had. Throw a little bit of this in there. All right, so now that you got a little bit of that going, we're gonna come over here. We got our tater, I'm guessing these are just microwavable taters. Probably should get to microwaving those guys. Perfect. All right, the microwave gun. Oh, plug it in. I don't know how long these go, but like three minutes, and then stir it. Yeah. See what happens. Let's see how they look after that. Okay. Turn this bad boy on. It's already warm, which is nice. And then we're just gonna get a little bit of that flour. And I think cornstarch is also like an option, but I don't think it probably really. Makes a difference, so. Go ahead and throw some flour in there. Put a little bit of that in there. Grab your whisk. And you basically, I just cook it until I like the consistency of it. You stir it and heat it up until it thickens up. And you can add some seasoning to it. I might throw a little bit of all meat in there, but it's already got the juice. It's got, it's got what you need in there already, so. Oh yeah, we'll let that thicken up. Get them taters out. And then what we're gonna need to do here is probably delegate some meat because I mean it's pretty much just I mean it, actually the ratio doesn't look awful as terrible. is but it's not we probably could just yeah. I bet we can just we can just wing it all right so let's get some plates oh yeah look at that thickened, Ooh, nice. that thickened up nicely all right 
I don't think it's gonna taste worse than it did before. Ooh. Ah. Pretty hot. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even better, dude. That's like it almost reminds me more of turkey than yeah. than than chicken. Yeah. It looks like turkey. Alright, you gotta try that piece. It looks somewhere between like beef and turkey. Yeah, yeah. It reminded me more of turkey than th that is so good, dude. So Glad good. Glad we put it back. Yes, in there. it makes it better. And it tastes. Like we tried pop. it before we put it back, and it tastes good. It tastes like just real plain dark meat chicken. Yeah. That. That tastes like pot roast. You got to put it back in yeah. there, at least, or cook it like with it. Onions, you know, it just yeah, depends. Like the thing is, that was these these veggies were cooked for five minutes. See how the be this the. Uh, Wow, the string beans. The green beans are like, I would say probably overcooked, not terribly. So you can't, that's why I didn't do that. Because if you would have cooked the, the green beans as long as the squirrel, yeah, it would be mush. If they were all in there for the whole time. So I, I still think splitting it was the move. Debone it and throw it back in there. But the flavor in the meat is like 10 times better than what it was before you mixed it in there. So, all right, well, taters are getting done. Our gravy's looking gravy-like. We're gonna go ahead and plate all this up and put it all together and taste it. I'll let you guys know what we think. Stay tuned. All right, taters are done. Bam! Wow, that splattered a that little more. Went over. That, that, that just about went everywhere. Take your taters, make a nice little bed of taters, just like that, and more taters. <laughs> I feel like the taters on tater saying <laughs> is not normal, but I'm here for it. Listen, I'm all about the tater life. It's gonna be pretty good. Can't have too many taters. See, this is the only thing is, yeah, you gotta fish around for meat because I'm wanting the meat in there. This is looking solid. Super good. We didn't even follow a recipe. We just winged it. We just used what we had in the kitchen and got that Instapot fired up. And that right there is what we're dealing with. But we're not done. But wait, there's more. Now you got your gravy ready to go. And you just go ahead and just give her one of these guys. Bam! I don't even know what you call it. Wooded, out in the woods Thanksgiving something dish. It looks it looks like it's a full blown Thanksgiving meal from the woods, straight from the woods. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. And the green beans. I think it'd be prime with some celery and carrots, but 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 again, doing what we. I don't know if I've ever had that. A tater on a tater. <laughs> I mean, this is not no, not normal, but. I feel like it can't be too bad. Oh, we forgot to put a little extra wild game on there. Rip. Woo! It didn't need it. Yeah. Honestly. Pretty good. It's really, really good. Yeah, I think I gotta go with what you did. Yeah, just, just a little, little taters little and, and squirrels. Taters. Yeah. With a little bit of gravy on there. Dude, that is, you can't beat that. You can't beat, I haven't had squirrel enough to know. I mean, I have had squirrel probably four or five times. Nothing even remotely close to this. It is redneck Thanksgiving. <laughs> like that's, that it is. is redneck Thanksgiving. If you guys missed out on buying your turkey they sold out at Walmart, go shoot yourself one of them squirrels out there. Then I promise you, no one at the Thanksgiving meetup meal will have any complaints about this. I mean, yeah. that is like... This is fire. That's I mean, fire. that's like a 9 out of 10 meal fire. there, folks. I mean, that is so good. The meat, even just the meat on its own. Mmm. Mmm. That is so fire. These poor dogs right here. Oh, yeah. I got a... I got a little, you got, you got, you got a little piece for a little nuggy. Better not get an onion. No, probably not. Dogs, friend, poisonous. Really? Dogs, yeah. Onions. Okay, we can't have that. That'd be nice. I doubt we could kill Lucy. She's been yeah. hit by like four trailers True. and True. she's been fine. Here you go, Millie. Just a little Scooby snack. That's all. What do you think about that? About the squirrel life? I don't think they tasted it. No, they definitely <laughs> just, they just swallowed it. They got like a hint of it on the way yeah. down. But mm -hmm. anyways, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. It is probably top... I would say for sure in the top five meals we've made of a wild game. Wild game top five meals of all time, you know, right up there with some raccoon and some other stuff that we've made this year that's been really, really good. I think this has to go in the beefcake cookbook. I think, so. I think it's got to. We're, we've been making a bunch of recipes and my plan is after season to write them down and make a beefcake cookbook. And I would say this guy right there, is going in the book. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Unfortunately, got one squirrel, but one squirrel made. And, and, and when you have the mashed potatoes and they have, like, you don't need a lot of squirrel. I mean, you can see, yeah. we still got plenty of food in here and there's not a ton of squirrel meat left, but there's still some. So if we had like maybe two squirrels, I mean, you could probably feed four guys with two squirrels and the rest of the stuff we have, the taters and everything like that. So super good. Super easy. Get yourself one of them little Instapots. I tell you, it'll change your life. You can make this in the crock pot, but right now we would have like five hours left of cooking versus we got everything done. We got, made our homemade gravy. We made the mashed potatoes. Everything was absolutely perfect. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.